ladies and gentlemen, this is Margin's Corner right now. So, <laughs> as you all know... Hey, let him have Margin's Corner. <laughs> as you all know that I am a big, 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 big Gintama fan. Gintama is my fucking manga. It's the best manga in the world. Fucking suck it. So, most of you know, um, Gintama has ended. As yeah, of that's seem to believe so apparently from what i get from gathering information through my many sources of the dark web god the scrunch <laughs> so what we found out is is that what seems to be going around is is that sarachi assumed that he'd be able to finish this his series by this time but he then realized oh shit i may not be able to finish it because there's still some more I have to do. And so what happened was, what it seems to happen is like, when you're, t- when you're ready to end your series, you, you tell, a m- tell Jump like a year in advance. He says, he says hey, uh, my series is about to be wrapped up soon, blah, 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 blah. And then you have that period of time to wrap it up. However, Sirachi was like, oh shit, I realized that I need more time. And I guess when it comes, I guess it kind of, by the time he was able to say that, I guess Jump didn't really give him enough chance to <coughs> do more time that he needed because they were trying to push out another series to replace Gintama at the time. Two so, god-awful looking series, by the way. <laughs> also, am I the only one that thinks that this author's name sounds like uh, a hot sauce? Sriracha. Yeah. yeah. Can I make an off-brand hot sauce called Sriracha with Gintoka, Gintoki on the top of the bottle? Oh, God. <laughs> I'd be, I'd, I'd be the first one Yeah, he'd one buy to, Thurman would buy it. Copyright strike. So, copyright so Thurman, strike, let me know strike. what's going on with uh, as because I'm, I'm casually, I, I casually kind of know about Gintama. It's mostly David and Thurman here, but uh, so what, what is actually happening? Is it being continued, or uh, like what's going on here? So, what we, so both info we gathered, they're give, they're letting him finish his series in another, another magazine because you know. Jo- Shueisha has multiple magazines, you know, they have Ultra Jump, Giga Jump. Yep, like, it's called the Giga Jump! Woo so what's going on right now is that they're going to Giga Jump. Now, my thoughts on this is, well, technically speaking, yes, Gintama has, they're, he's, they're treating it as, as it ended in Weekly Shonen Jump. Because that's, because Weekly Shonen Jump is the most, po- is their most popular magazine, if I can recall correctly. So, there's that. Now, my immediate thought to this was, I assume that we're 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 gonna get like a Boruto <coughs> or DT style thing. That's the biggest fear that I didn't want to happen. But it seems like that's not the case. So just giving him a chance to finish it on his own terms, which kind of shows you that Sirachi can literally take a dump in the main office and they wouldn't give a shit. So it kind of it kind of kind of shows us that we were correct all along that Sirachi had enough power. In a company like Akira and Oda does to just fucking take a piss on the, in the on the front desk of their office and still be able to walk away with a hundred mil or yen or whatever. So well, mm, here's the issue with that though, Thurman, and this is what I foresee happening, um, and it sucks. But you know we don't really get Giga Jump here in the states, so the only way we're going to get any of this that's continued from that ending is through volumes which means ratings wise there's going to be nothing here in the states factored into that which also could lead to it getting axed inside of giga jump doubt it it's gintama well think about it well here's the thing if he's just if he's just kind of like got a little overspill of story left, I doubt it's gonna last more than like a half a year anyway. Like, do, do you get a vibe, Thurman, of like how much longer he's got? Oh, I honestly, I don't think it's gonna last that longer anyway. Honestly, I feel like I'd give it like maybe like one or two months, really. Yeah, I just I imagine. I just figured it was like he had a specific contract at the end of it, and he's got a couple more things. My question though is, well, so does is there English releases like in English volumes? Do they come out here or no? Yeah, I have one. I have one volume of Gintama. But, so my uh, question is like, if uh, I'm more curious about how the branding will work, because like, if it's in Jump Giga, will it still come out under like Shonen Jump 
volumes here, or would it have to like completely for like, the last volume? Would it have to like completely switch like logos on there? Like I'm that's <laughs> that's because well, like, it's, it's, it's all the same. It's it's all the same company. It's yeah, not, but it's, like it's no, I think it's I'm trying to think. like we have shoujo. Uh -huh. uh, for like the fucking Sailor Moon and they're usually like, labeled differently, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. We have, you know, for like fucking Vampire Night, we have like Shonen Jump Advance, fucking I know Nora, uh, Last Chronicle of Demondom, very underrated manga, was Shonen Jump Advance. Um the New Gi Oh was just Shonen Jump on the fucking volume, you know. Because <clears throat> Yu Gi Oh Yu Gi Oh transferred after the first series. Yeah, it's just it's just very weird, you know, how Shonen handles it. Strange way they did it, like, for <laughs> Like, how they've done shit here in America versus in Japan, I think, you know, it's... Well, I was more gonna... I mean, America streamlines it a bit more and just oh, makes yeah. it, like, they well, don't I, I, complicate I think, I think it, like, you know... Japan, uh, there's, like, what, 17 different magazines? I don't know. It's, I just don't understand why it's such, like, arbitrary bullshit, where it's like, oh, well, you know, like, it's crazy that, like, an author can't just be like, hey, you know, can I get, like, five more chapters? They're like, no! Like, like really? Like, I don't understand the... I think what it is is... Uh, actually, let me let me Google this. Like, it's the Cole Kubo situation starting to make a lot more sense now. Right. Like, like they literally have a down-to-the-number deadline, I guess. Like, that's crazy. What do you think, Thurman? It's a, it's a, weird, it's a weird thing, too, because I mean, Sirachi has, you know, just... He said, "Hey, look, I have, I oh, oops, I don't have enough time to finish my series. I thought this would be enough. Can I have, get an extension? You know, uh, Gintama make this making them money, just like Bleach and Naruto was. So I mean, I, I wouldn't just assume that they're not going to, you know, give them a chance to finish this series because Gintama is making them money. Their volume, the volume sales sell well in 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 uh." In, J in Japan and America, like Kingdom of the, is not a you know not a slouching series. Like makes them gets them cash. Right. So it, it, well, I, I mean, yeah. Like I guess where do you see the series going from here? How long do you think it's gonna last? And uh, how is I mean, is this gonna affect anything, Thurman? Like how they're ending it in this magazine ra rather than the other one? Or oh, um, I don't think so. I feel like I feel like honestly, this might be a, a positive because I mean, think about it. If it's a whole new magazine. I pr that magazine probably has more different standards than Weekly Shonen Jump does. So, well, just uh, a quick Google here: Jump Gig is an irregularly published special issue spinoff of Weekly Shonen Jump, though it replaced the line of special issues of Shonen Jump that had gone through the n a number of name changes: Weekly Shonen Jump Special, Akamaru Jump, Jump Next, as a distinction mostly containing short serials rather than primarily one shots. So, so a lot of one shots go there. Um, I wonder if Burn the Witch went in that in Giga. Oh, let's check. This would be the most recent one right here. But yeah, so I mean, it, it seems like they put like one shots series. Uh, you know, like series that might be like, like you know, spinoffs, maybe like uh, five to ten chapter short things in this. So yeah, I guess yeah. it's probably just gonna be like. It's just so weird to me that they pushed it to this it's a strange decision. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a weird thing, really, because it's I feel like Jump is in a situation to where okay, well, we have one of our best-selling series that's going to end here, and then because honestly, they're treating it better than how they treated Kubo, like Kubo. Well, yeah. Deadline, boom! You have to end this or you're done. Like I don't even think Kubo wants to end Bleach yet. I don't think or along those lines. But I mean, I, I mean, guess the last... it, it was more of like. He didn't fulfill everything he wanted to do, but he had no choice, it seems like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's strange with Kubo because, I you know, like, he's never come out and, like, complained about it. Like, he's li he's never had, like, an interview where he was like, oh, they, they forced me to, you know what I mean? Like, he never said anything about it. He, he just ended it and pretended like it was all normal. So I don't really understand what happened. I mean, sometimes you have to make inferences with Kubo because with Kubo it's like with his series like the last five chapters the pacing just changed on a dime it was weird it was almost like he didn't even have a warning going up to it because like it was like the last five chapters like the fight with Gerard was going like really normally naturally and then just you got we're done it, it was really weird so, so something happened with Kubo that uh, maybe he's under an NDA about it I, I don't know it's <laughs> extremely and bizarre it, it, and the same thing with Sirachi, like, Sirachi, like, you would think they did the same thing with Sirachi, but, I mean, 
the, they're saying nope, we're just moving to another to another magazine. And I'm like, well, okay, but I really don't think this is the first series that's ever done this either. You know, I don't, think, I don't think so. Cause I'm pretty sure it's happened before, but it's just one because it's just, I, this, I guess I'm a, just the the way this has happened this time like normally it's just like oh midway through we're going to switch you know magazines N this one is just at the literal ass end of the fucking series it's interesting because i feel like other authors might have because you even see this with like kishimoto so kishimoto had this weird ocd thing where he wanted to end it at 700 you know mm -hmm. um which caused him to kind of like rush through the final sasuke naruto fight and shit like that and it's like i feel like other authors are just like you know, I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze through my story how I how I need to. I'll take shit out to, to, in order to end on this particular number. But it's almost like Sirachi here was like, no, fuck it. I, I, I will do as many chapters as I need to to end this the way I want to. Even if I have to jump to this random fucking magazine over here. So, right, I mean, it's respect. beautiful. It's beautiful. I respect it immensely, but I just don't see this, you know, being... It's going to be like a half a year max, probably, and, just to fi finish the thing he wants to finish. If you look at his at the editor's note, he says like, "Don't expect anything else from Sirachi." Like, I don't think I think this is gonna be Sirachi's like one like one hit wonder thing. Like, he's been writing the series for fourteen years. I'm pretty sure he's like in his forties, maybe. Well, older. actually, Thurman, I think that I I actually um. I think you're misunderstanding here no, because because Gintama is a parody like kind of the Deadpool of manga what they're doing there is they're making fun of what you normally see at the end of every manga typically the editor's note will say look forward to the next work from this like that's just even if they're not going to make another work it says that that's just kind of the message that every ending mangaka gets so mm -hmm. I think that because it's Gintama they just wanted to like flip the script be meta with it and say don't expect anything ever again uh, I'm pretty sure that was more of a meta fourth wall breaking joke than anything else nah nah fam you, you can't expect that with, with Gintama my dude you never know you never know it could be a troll could be serious well that's I the, mean it, the, it's the same that's with the it's the same thing with every author too it's just like you know fucking they did the same thing I think when Yu Yu Hakusho ended even I don't. I mean, it's usually just like a generic message that they have exactly. at the end of whenever the expect, season ends. Expect yeah. the next, you know, product from this person. It's just like. But Togashi, the thing is, that Togashi literally said "fuck you" to jump because they, he literally didn't even finish give his Yu Yu Hakusho an ending because he said "fuck you" to jump. Yeah, but they like, still literally... gave him that respectful, you know, message. You know, it. It's fucking. I custom. think. I mean, I'm not checking, but like, it's just it, again. Like, Kishimoto yeah. got yeah. the same thing. Fucking Kubo got the same thing. It's just it's standard inside the magazine to get that. So I I do agree with Red here. Like, I think it was just a dead Deadpool style like fourth wall breaking blah blah blah. You know, I'm we'll sure. I'm sure Oda will give the set get the same oh, thing. Oh, absolutely. One. You know. But, and oh, I, yeah, yeah. Which is funny because he probably won't ever write anything ever again. But I think it's just a generic message that you see. Exactly. You know? I mean, you never know. I mean, honestly, 14 years is a long time to write a series. Yeah, like, I know. Uh, but I'm, I'm saying, regardless of if he writes something or not, you're missing the point. I'm saying that they get that message anyway. Exactly. I am way more... Even if if Kubo... Yeah, like, like, if Kubo said to them, I will never write in your magazine ever again, they'd still probably fucking put it on there. Oh, yeah. It's just a formality, my dude. You're missing the point. The point is that... They, this is a manga where they will literally be like, like open up a chapter with, oh fuck, our anime got canceled. Like, like it, th that's the kind of shit they do. Like, so uh, it's, to me, it makes a lot of sense that they would make a joke out of the normal thing that the magazine mm -hmm. does. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. So I, I, I think you're reading too much into it, personally. Of course, you have to read too much into it when it comes to goat time. But anyway, I like <laughs> final thoughts. Anyway. Thurman, wrapping it up. Uh, really, um. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just expected to see. I'm just really uh, weird out to see how this is kind of taking place. It's kind of uh, a weird thing, really. But I mean, if it'll help, if it'll help Sarachi finish the series the way he wants to, then I'm all for it. I don't think there's any like negative towards it. I just feel like, I just feel like Jump kind of. Uh, I feel like Jump. It's more like a it's like a generation issue because Jump is trying so hard to, uh, you know, replace Gintama that they're you know not letting Soraki finish. But I guess they're giving him like a I mean soft they're spot. they're literally making a series out of the statue of David. Wait, what? I've, I missed this. Are yeah, you, I just want you to look in the Discord. <laughs> it's because I have everything muted for sanity reasons. <laughs> it's That's disturbing. Beautiful. 
Like the is shit it, they're shoveling out to replace King Tama. Statue of David. Like, is it like the the web comic where Jesus and Buddha are roommates? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, so it's... essentially, what they're trying to make, they're trying since Ginta was there, they're trying to find their next big gag manga. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and the two gag manga that they're showing doesn't look too promising. I but, like yeah, I, said, I give them their standard eight chapters before axation. I mean, you know, like, they're, like gonna, I said, they're gonna do what they did that. when they're gonna do what they did when fucking Bleach ended, where they just basically have to like throw everything at you until one of them sticks. You know, that's how we oh. got our promise. Never mind, how we got Doctor Stone. They're just gonna keep throwing failures until they get a success. Exactly. You know, and it's sad for you know. I mean, we'll get a success eventually, but it might take a while. That, you know, what? But it's really sad, you know, for the mangaka that are creating this shit. Oh that, yeah. You know, because every time they get axed, it's more and more disheartening. Well, it's like Horikoshi, man. Like, he, he did, like, three or four before he got My Hero. Yeah, and, and fucking yeah. Tabata, you know, fucking same thing. Not one. So, I mean, it's just, you know. This... I guess, yeah, the moral of the story for here is Shonen Jump runs their business weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it like you said, it makes a lot more sense now the way Kubo got treated, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, trying to see some behind the scenes shit if they're that to the fucking dime on how many chapters you exactly. have. Exactly. So now we've got like that that hard number from when you know Kubo was uh, possibly saying you know I'm getting ready to wrap things up. Mm -hmm. And they were, <laughs> I can almost see Kubo being like, "All right, uh, I'm getting ready to wrap things up. Maybe like 50, 100 more chapters. Do it in 20. What? <laughs> yeah, it's very bizarre. But I mean, now things make more sense. So you know, it's. Now, now, yeah. what, what's left of the old generation still? One Piece, One Piece, Hunter X Hunter, if you count it. I mean, but One Piece, Hunter X Hunter, World Trigger. But World uh, Trigger, will we even see again? Well, when the author God, gets poor. better because of their illness. Hey, it's fine, man. I mean, like, I, I'm actually the the more and more we go th through in terms of like what the new generation is going to be, the more hope I have for Doctor Stone, like. It, at first, I thought because of the concept, like it's a good concept, but I didn't think it would be a concept that would like get it really popular. Now I'm seeing Viz. Viz is, is on the train now for Doctor mm -hmm. Stone. Like like they're on the train for Doctor Stone as much as they were on the train for Black Clover. Like you remember when Viz was like dick riding Black Clover like hardcore to try to because and, and before I mean, this isn't me dissing Black Clover in any way. It's more of me just making the obvious um, note that. They are a corporation, and their Viz will try to jump on what they think is going to be the next big thing to mm -hmm. push sales. At one point, it was Black Clover, and now it's Dr. Stone. So Viz has seen the greatness. And they did the same thing with Promise Neverland. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, Viz has now seen that Dr. Stone greatness, and I think that I, I am starting to believe more and more that Dr. Stone could be a contender for a big three. It depends. I think that... I don't know why we're, I guess we're just, this is now a fucking next big three video. <laughs> so uh, I think that Dr. Stone could, I think that Dr. Stone could be in the next big three, but I think it would have to take one big like plot sh shift. Cause right now in Dr. Stone, we have like that big confrontation happening. I think that something has to happen that like really, really pushes it over the edge. And then it really could be. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of people, you know, are still saying that fucking promise Neverland is going to be uh, on the next big three, I but know, I mean, man. it's in its final arc. No, so yeah, they, that just got fucked so many ways, man. Like it, that could have been a beautiful thing, but then the, the writing fucking just tanked. So uh, literally right. Ending. Literally right now. Our new big three is Boruto, Black no, Clover. Fuck, get out of here with Boruto. It's no, My Hero Academia, Boruto. Dr. Stone and Black Clover. I'm I'm literally seeing Boruto as one of them because I hear it's no one talking about Boruto. I don't even the know. reason I'm saying that is because we still see it getting dick rode by the Naruto fanboys. So yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Like yeah, there's plenty of things getting dick rode. So the only until anime popular. No, oh, sorry. What, 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 go ahead. If we go by Japan standards, okay. Honestly, the three, the, the top three right now is well. Popularity wise is One Piece, My Hero Academia, Black Clover. Black Clover is essentially loved in Japan. They fucking love it there, and they love My Hero Academia, and they love. I'm not uh, counting One Piece though. Yeah, we're we're saying what the next big three would be though. I I think you. It would. I don't think. Would, I don't. Boruto doesn't sit right with me. And, it doesn't sit right with me either. Yeah, but you're taking it as a popularity thing. It's a monthly manga, first of all, and it's a fucking shitty milk milking spinoff. Like, oh, yeah. I don't see that as being, like, even, like, if they were to market, like, the big three, you know, like, how they used to, where, like, on the cover, I don't see that happening, because more, uh, the biggest reason is because it's monthly. 
So you know, I, if I we take it just in weekly, then it would be, you know, My Hero, Black Clover, and fucking, you know, something else. But again, else. I just count Boruto as a continuation of Naruto. So it, you should you should get rid of it in the same way you get rid of One Piece. Okay, then yeah, it would just be fucking My Hero, Black Clover, and possibly that Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone's in a weird place right now, yeah. Or um, possibly fucking... It could have been Promised Neverland. Promised Neverland. Really could have been, but it can't now. It, it, so we're... Guy bus gr- there's that third so point, spot. Oh, that's always that third spot. Well, I mean, right now specifically, that third spot is in a, a hotly content, contested because, like, it could very it should have been promised Neverland. I wished it was. It re- oh god, promised Neverland, man. That's gonna be remembered as like the biggest waste of potential. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, it's oh. it's at least dethrone Bleach for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give it that. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, that hurt I, me to it'll say. Be interesting to see for, where it goes as we the- have another great. Another great getting ready to leave. Um, Hunter x Hunter just in the, the eternal limbo that it's in of back and forth, back and forth. Oh, yeah. And so you can't really count that. So, uh, uh, so now yeah, we, we um, just have fucking One Piece left from the old era. Yeah. You know? Final it's, wrap-up it's, comments, it's, Thurman. It's so saddening, then... too. It's, it's so saddening to see how, like, because think about it. Now, once one, once Gintama actually ends, this is my chance to, to be teary-eyed and stuff like that because we don't really know because – Gintama is a, is a fucking, uh, it's like it's like my heart. And the fact that, and I, I guess I'm kind of happy that Jump is not, you know, giving it the Kubo treatment and just letting Sirachi do what he needs to do. But at the same time, I'm like... You're conflicted. Yeah, because it's it's one of those situations to where, okay, Sirachi's going to be in a new magazine. He's going to, you know, hell, it, the Gintama monthly for all we know. Like, it's literally could be the case. Yeah, the, but. Uh, and let's think about this for a minute here because the new magazine means new climate for him as well. I still don't even think that it's going to be more than a couple months or two. I don't even know if that's worth talking about because it's, it's really going to be quick, I imagine. But still. Yeah, I, 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 think, so. I think so too. Yeah. I just feel like, I just feel like Jump might. I, I really. Because. I feel like Jump might try to milk Gintama like they've tried to do Bleach and Naruto for so much. Because I, cause my biggest fear no, was to go milked. through the magazine. You say Bleach? Yeah, Bleach, my bleach dude, Bleach was is not, not milked. They, they cut that shit off quick. They cut it off like a like, diseased arm, man. A Dagamo Z style. Like, I, I really don't want to see, like, a Gintama GX or some shit like that. I, I doubt it. Like, I, do you remember, Thurman, do you remember we actually did a video on it? Uh, I'll card it if I can think of it. Uh, where we, uh, where Oda came out and like confirmed he's not going to do that shit. Do you remember that? I'm talking about like, Sarah. I ain't talking about Oda. I know, you fucking slop. You slop. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to say Claude. I wanted to say cunt, and I. I, I didn't know what to go. <laughs> well, that was just a new. <laughs> I'm tired. That's a Gavinism, if I ever heard you, of one. You slop of semen that should have been aborted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, this shit's getting cut. <laughs> Some of it is. Maybe I'll just. You know what? That's something that'll be funnier if it's bleeped. You don't even know what I said. It was probably really funny. It wasn't cringe at all. <laughs> It was cringe. <laughs> Guess in the comments. Um, no, but uh, first of all, I know, bitch. I was just saying that Oda and Sirachi, they seem to me to be similar caliber of artists and authors. People that respect their series. I don't. I see Sirachi being the same way as Oda there, where I think that they're going to have the same respect for their series. You understand what I'm saying, Thurman? Yeah, I, I think so too. But, you know, oh shit. Jump is... I have faith. I have faith in my boy Sirachi. I have faith that they're not gonna that they're not gonna they're gonna let Sirachi do his series how he wants. My my biggest fear was is that they're going to do what they're gonna try to pull the Kubo card on him and make him finish the series the way he didn't want to, or you know. Do no, something I doubt that. Like... He's been he's been in there for a long time. But yeah, uh, final wrap up comments, please, Thurman. Uh, yeah. It's just I'm just really really, really happy to see that just, he's not really getting the getting the, a bad treatment. I'm telling you, man. They they treat. I can hear your controller really... clicking in the background. <laughs> Sorry, I had to I had to move it away. Okay, so I'm just really happy that they're giving Sirachi a chance to 
essentially in the series the way he wants to and not really because is that if you think about it, it's actually a funny situation right he's like oh i need to end my series but at the same time it's like oh Oops, I can't end it because I, I overestimated how long how much longer it would take to end the series. Now I can't end it, and now now I'm in this awkward it. spot. It's just a it's just a funny situation. It's just definitely something Sirachi would do, but <laughs> I just really hope that because this series is really good, man. It's I give I I'll end it with I recommend giving something to anyone who needs a good laugh or good character development or what's not. This series is fucking amazing, and I would definitely be doing it a video about why this series the form how this form how the formula of the series goes really well like why Gintama is as good as it is and why the characters are as good as it is and now I'll be safe for another video cuz man oh i fucking love it Here, this is this series this series is like hunter hunter qual obviously you know hunter hunter uh always me pun pun you know like this is some qual this is a quality series Except to those, except to those who think Bobo is better. Fuck you. Here's my wrap up here. Like this raises a lot more questions about Jump's politics than we have, you know, time to even fathom discussion on. <laughs> I maybe a separate video. Yeah, yeah, but what this did confirm is what we've been, like I said earlier, like we've been wondering what actually caused that drastic shift in Bleach for the longest time, and now we have mm. kind of this, you know, hint here. Yeah. So they seem to there. It seems to be like what I get out of this is that they're a company that is very, very strict to the contracts that they oh, sign. Yeah. So it's, there's no wiggle room. It's not like, hey man, can I get like one or two more chapters? No, this contract says this, and we have to stick to it. I imagine they have like a waiting list of authors to get that spot. You know what yeah, I mean? And, and, and that, yeah, and that's what what I'm starting to you know grasp as well. Like there mm -hmm. there has to be some formula here that we're just slowly seeing unravel as this generation of jump ends. Yeah, and. You know, at least they've given him a little bit more room than they gave Kubo. I wish they would have extended this, you know, olive branch to Kubo. They really should have, because at first I was going to say, oh, it makes sense. There's that respect. He's been an author with them for a long time. But Kubo fucking was, too, for, like, over Ex ten years. Exactly. Yeah. So there's definitely some drama behind the scenes Oh, there's there. some fucking, uh, what's the uh, word, favoritism. Oh, yeah. And hating him for some reason, yeah. Exactly. And the joke I always hear is Kubo <laughs> fucked the editor's goat. life. <laughs> exactly. He's the goat. Well, you know, seriously though, it, they were both in there for a decade plus. So, yeah, and you can't even you can't even sleep on uh, Kubo's like the, the the track record he had with them. He was one oh, of the big yeah, of three. Course. Like that was he, they're, his they're manga was one of the top selling manga of all time. Exactly. Like, at, at its height, it was huge. It competed with One Piece. There was there were points where it actually beat One Piece in ratings. Uh, exactly. So you know, there's definitely some drama there. But what this also shows is, like you said, insane favoritism here. So I want to know, you know, and possibly we can discuss this in another video. You know, as this generation continues to wrap up, we can you know st slowly start to unravel the mystery that is Jump. You know, it's like a setup of a mystery novel. Like, exactly. How, how, this how the way continues. how the way how the way it's gonna happen is is that we're it's too late. Like technically, Naruto, Bleach, Kintama is your guys' generation because you guys are like late twenties, stuff like that. Well, Dave, not you, Red, but you know, David. <laughs> Mid twenties. So it's it's technically uh, Bleach and Naruto and like and stuff of the like. Anything with like six hundred chapters is your generation because it's like two thousand. It, however, so however, but given given to how we're kind of it's kind of too late for us to see that pattern, we're just starting to see it now. What's gonna have to happen? What's gonna have to happen is that all of this that's transpiring now is gonna have to happen to the new series, the Myron Hill, the Damian, Doctor Stone, Promise Neverland, Black Clover. We're gonna have to see something of that. We're gonna have to see drop fuck over Tabata or Hirokoshi the same degree that they fucked over Kubo or Sirachi, and then we're gonna have to then we're gonna have to, then once that happens, oh, exactly. we're gonna have. We can get, we can, because we we can't really judge it based off of what of of what happened in, two, in the two thousands, late nineties, because Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and series of the like have already had the run or continuing or are part of the old gen. That's why when the new gen comes out, when new, new manga starts coming up, you know, because Jujutsu Kaisen is a very popular series right now. Uh, Stone, Promise never Neverland, even though it became shit, but like Clover, My Academia, we have these two new series, you know. As these new series start 
becoming more popular and we start you know interacting with these mangaka just like that's like you guys may interact with kubo hirokoshi K- kishimoto sirachi back then it's gonna what's gonna have to happen is we're gonna have to have this connection with the new mangaka now and then we're gonna have to compare the two well how was hirokoshi treated or how was tabata treated now then and then see how you know Akira Toriyama or Oda was treated back when their series was still in the limelight. Then I mean, we kind of have some of that right now too. You know, with you know Tabata having you know a series canceled, Horikoshi having multiple series canceled. You know, before they even got off the ground, so to speak. The so, vibe I get is that they're just a very cutthroat series. Um, they're probably run by Pete, by someone, and we all know a boss like this, a oh boss yeah. that runs by the numbers. They oh say, yeah. you know, if you don't eat these numbers, we cancel you. They don't seem to run their their business with you know feelings or or by you know I, I think or you even have to, forethought for like progression. I think you have to have a good balance. I understand that you can't run a company completely on being nice, but I also understand that you can't run. A, oh, I I also think that it's bad to run a company completely on numbers either. I think you need to find that nice balance where it's like, hey, you know, like... like Let's see some like, progression yeah, here's here. Here's what you get. So here's your baseline number of chapters you get to get good ratings. But if we see, like, like if you come to me... Like, let's say I'm the boss, right? I say, here's your number of chapters that you get. But you come to me and you say, hey, man, you know, like... Like, I know I've been down a bit, but, like, please, you know, maybe, like, ten more chapters. I really got a good idea. And maybe you show me the idea, and I say, hey, that is a good idea. I give you ten more chapters. You know, I would be someone who would be, like, I'd give some wiggle room, right? Exactly. They don't seem to give wiggle room, period, in Shonen, which I think... They did at change. one point, you know. Yeah, well, it almost strikes... The, what needs to happen with Shonen is what happened with Nintendo. You remember when in Nintendo, they, they changed... Uh, presidents with the sad passing of Satoru Iwata, obviously, but the guy that came in was fucking amazing. You know, he came in, and I know that there's fucking controversy with the fucking online system right now, but not even the online but system. But hold on, let's not get into that. But, but like, what I'm saying is, like, uh, beyond, besides that, though, the, he came in, we got our Metroid Prime 4, we got our, you know, the Switch in itself, which was, like, immediately brought them back on top of marketing, shit like that. Their marketing was better, you know. We need that with showing. But we also see fan projects being shut down. Boom, 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 boom. Fair enough, but I guess the point I'm making a metaphor that they need a management shift in, in Shonen. They need they need to change the policies that they're doing and be a bit more like Kotonasha. Oh, oh yeah, I, I agree 100 percent there. Woo! Yeah, Kotonasha. I Do think a video that, about that. Yeah, we really need to wrap this up. Peace. Yep. Peace.